Hello everyone, good evening. Here are the seven group to present about auditing specialized industries, particularly the telecommunications industry. So for us to be properly oriented, here's the table of contents. First, I will be tackling the background of the telecommunications industry. Next would be the IFRS to be discussed by Ms. Riva Limbueno, followed by the revenue recognition to be discussed by Ms. Angel Panyamante, postpaid revenue to be discussed by Ms. Beverly Hogang, followed by prepaid revenue to be discussed by Mr. Mark Cedric Makai, and lastly, wholesale revenue to be discussed by Ms. Myra Fronda. So let us now start with the background of the telecommunications industry in the Philippines. My presentation would consist of these pointers. First would be the definition of telecommunications industry. Next would be the deregulation of the telecommunications industry, followed by the current market players and the latest key developments in the industry. So as defined by the Law Insider, telecommunications industry is an industry sector related to telecommunications, which includes but not limited to telephone, radio, television, internet or other data, analog or digital transmission, goods and services, satellite goods and services, wired or wireless communication goods and services including local area networks and wide area networks, and any other similar goods and services. In 2020, according to Statista, telecommunications industry was proved to be the most essential industries as it allows personal and professional communication a lot easier and it was used as a key tool in business. It is known that telecommunications industry is considered as important to everyone. Since the pandemic started, we heavily relied on the internet. And without these telecommunications companies, we would not have internet service providers. In a world that is rapidly changing, internet is really important, whether it is for personal use or business use. Even us, students, are one of the heavy users of the internet as we are using it for our studies just like what we are doing right now. So let us now proceed to the deregulation of the telecommunications industry. In 1995, former President Fidel V. Ramos deregulated the telecommunications industry, signing the Republic Act 7925 or the Public Telecommunications Policy Act of the Philippines. This law gave the private sectors the opportunity to provide and improve telecommunications services at a fairer rate in order to deliver telecommunication industry services to the public. So as we all know, there had been dominating duopoly in the Philippines when it comes to telecommunications industry for over two decades, and we are all familiar with these companies, which are PIDT and Smart, and its competitor, Globe. But in the recent years, more and more competitors emerge. And currently, these are now the leading telecommunications companies in the Philippines, leading the decades-long duopoly in the industry to come to an end. Kung dati, Smart PLDT and Globe lang yung magkalaban. Ngayon, meron ang converged dito telecommuni telecommunity and itong now telecom. According to now telecom president and chief operating officer, Hene L. Rosales, the technical assistance and pilot launch of 5G network in the Philippines through Now Telecom will include a development plan and execution of a pilot 5G standalone network and the design of a completely clean and secured standalone 5G network. Now let's proceed with the recent key developments in the industry. DICT or Department of Information and Communications Technology issues guidelines on sharing mobile tower infrastructure. In this, one example that I can think of is, kung familiar kayo kay GOMO, it is a fully digital telco owned and operated by Singapore's Singtel, but they are locally powered by Globe, so they are only sharing mobile tower with Globe. Next, the ICT announces 3.3 billion pesos plan 
to roll out 23,100 public Wi-Fi hotspots across the country. Next is the continuous rollout of 5G network, and then Dito Telecommunity starts service launch in March 2021, and lastly, Converge ICT Solutions goes public in October 2020. And these are the recent key developments in the industry, and we should look forward for more developments soon. Thank you everyone for listening. Now that we are oriented with the telecommunications industry background, let us now proceed to the next topic, the IFRS and the implications related with the telecommunications industry to be presented by Ms. Bueno.